Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how the new autosave feature works in Google Forms. This is a great feature that allows your students to leave a Google Form and come back and finish it later without losing any of the progress that they've made. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So here I am in my demo Google Classroom. I'm going to create a new quiz assignment. And let's call this one trivia quiz, or maybe I'll call it geography quiz, geography trivia quiz. Say, please take this quiz. Now let's create the quiz. And I'm going to change my settings on the quiz and I'm going to require sign in. And we can look in the presentation here and we'll see I have the option to disable autosave for all, all respondents. But in this case here, I'm going to leave it enabled. And let's save that. Now let's just rename this one. Geography Trivia Quiz. And let's put in the first question. Where is the tallest mountain in the United States? Let's put in some answer choices. And let's go into our answer key. Let's give that five points and say there's our correct answer and hit done. Let's make that required. Now let's add one more question here. And let's just say who was the first president of the United States? Let's put in some answer choices here. So let's add those and change our answer key, make sure we have a correct answer. Okay. Done. Now I'm ready to give this to my students. So let's send that out, we'll sign it. And now I'm gonna open up my demo student over here. So here's my demo student who's going to see our geography trivia quiz. And he's going to take the quiz. Now, you can see here he's already signed in and he's going to answer this, but he needs to leave the quiz for some reason, whether he's run out of time for doing it right now, or perhaps he lost the internet connection while taking the quiz. That's okay. He can leave this and come back to it and we'll see his progress has been restored and now he can finish the quiz and submit it. And he can view his score and he's all done. So that's how the new save in progress function works in Google Forms. Now this feature is rolling out over the next couple of weeks. If you don't see it in your account yet, don't worry, you'll have it very soon. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.